Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Changing Your Direction. I'm so excited that you have decided to tune into the broadcast today. You're going you're gonna to be delighted, not only delighted, you're going to be moved by the power of God. I want you to stay tuned because what's next is for you a mighty deliverance from the Word of God. Stay tuned. There's new opportunity for employment you need. Is it forgiveness that you need? Coming out of a situation that you need power and strength to come out of. I want everybody to focus. I, want, I need your focus in here. Because I'm telling you, it's just my share, my papa. God said, I'm going to do some things where people have been hung up for 20 years. There's a lady in here. Ma'am, you've been struggling with some stuff and... I'm not going to tell it all, but you know what I'm talking about. And you went through something on Friday, and you only know that, but the Spirit of God just revealed to me that you went through it, but he told me to let you know you're coming out. Amen. But it takes boldness to stand up. Let us go into the Word. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, talk about Jesus, a sacrifice, Mm -hmm. He saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Yes. In burnt offerings and sacrifices, for sin thou hast had no pleasure. We can't use any other method or option for sacrifice. No more calf, no more dove, no more, no more uh, uh, dove, in, no more shedding of animals' blood for sacrifice. God said, I'm going to send my only begotten son, they're going to be the ultimate lamb, they're going to take away the sins of the world. Let us continue. Then said I, mm -hmm. Lo, I come in the volume of the book, mm -hmm. it is written of me, to yes. do thy will. O oh God, Good. above when he said, sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Our sins, and one writer said, Lord, don't allow thy sins to have dominion over me. We'll get introduced to sin and and it's good time that we're having, but the thing is, is that when it starts having dominion over you and I, meaning that it'll tell us when to get up, when to sit down, where to go, what to avoid. And the writer said, don't allow thy sins to have dominion over me. Well, what do you mean, Pastor. What I'm left, what I want you to know, Satan know everyone in here in the destiny and purpose in your life. Somebody may say that you were a mistake and not only a mistake, I did not want to have you, but God know who your father and mother was going to be for this appointed time. But I want to let you know something. I want you to understand something. When sin have dominion over us, if he rules us and it not only rules us, it takes us to places where we never thought we would go. Some folks should never return from the sins that have dominion over them. But I want to let you know that day is your day. The, this is your moment. This is your hour. This is where you're going to get delivered. That way that sin and that secret sin, only you know and God know that it does not have no more dominion over you. And God said that I'm, 
I sent the, my only begotten son to be the ultimate sacrifice for you. Going to take away my sins. Going to take away your sins. That's why you got to be so careful when people are tearing you down with words and you're tearing them down with words. You need to learn how to take the high road. You need to learn how to love them anyway. Jesus loved us in all of our mess. Jesus loved you in all your mess. How can you not love somebody else? But pastor, you just don't know. Let me tell you something. He ain't tell you that. He ain't tell me that you got you that you got to stay around. He just simply said that you got to pray for those what that trespass against thee. And then how, if you don't pray for them, how you expect my Father in heaven to forgive you of your sins? Am I speaking to somebody here today? I know I'm talking to somebody in this here house. It's time to come up out of that mess. I mean, how, how much more are you gonna take? How much more are you going to keep going through and through and over and over and through and over? And, and, and you're waiting for it to get better, but it ain't getting no better because you have not applied yourself to the word of God in order to come out. Somebody tell me Jesus paid the price. I'm getting ready to come out. I don't care how good he looks. I'm tired of being messed up. I don't care how good she looks. I'm tired of being messed up. It's time for me to walk in my calling and in the power of the almighty God. And the only way I'm going to walk in the power of the almighty God... I got to get rid of some things that been holding me down. Some things that been in my heart. I got to move those things out of my heart. I got to get rid of some of mama things that mama had passed on to me. I got to get rid of some of family things that they had passed on to me. Because when family don't like the Joneses and the Joneses don't like us. But yet though, I'm going to walk around with something that daddy done years ago. A cousin done years ago. Instead of walking in the power of forgiveness. Let us continue. Then said he, mm -hmm. Lo, yes. I come to do thy will. I come to do the will. O God. O God. He takes away the first yes. that he may establish the second. The first Adam fell in the garden. I'm going to send the second Adam. And the second Adam, there will be no failure in order to set my creation free. How many want to be free in this house today? You have to be honest with yourself. You know exactly where you're sitting. You know where you're at. You know what you're going through. I'm not here to expose or put you out there, but it's time to get it right. Somebody say, I have to get it right. I want to live according to the riches of God's word. And what happens is we want to keep continuing to do because it feel good. Remember, a feel good is only for a few moments, but I'm talking about one day with the Lord, it's like a thousand years. Let's continue. Mm. By the which mm -hmm. will we are sanctified yes. through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Yes. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. We are, sac we are sanctified by Jesus offering his body. We're sanctified because why? See, well, see, what happens is we around here getting denominations mixed up. See, when we get to heaven, it ain't going to be no Baptist over here. It ain't going to be no Presbyterian over there. It said the one that loved the Lord. We're sanctified through the body of Christ. He paid the price for what you and I have been introduced to. He paid it all. He paid for our lies. He paid for our doubts and our fears. He paid it all. I'm talking to someone in this church today. He paid it all. You can't never get ahead because we keep practicing the wrong method of financing. We can't never get ahead because sugar daddy going to take care of it. I got a daddy to take care of it all. I got a father that will take care of it all. I'm telling you, he, he said, you trust me, I'll take care of it all. i step into that cart note. i step into that light bill. i step into that, 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 that mortgage payment. i step right into it. Because my word, he said, I'm not a liar. And what God said, that he looked over his word, so therefore he could perform it. If you want to come out, you, get, you can come out. No, but you, you can come out of it. Yeah, but the, let them remember what you used to be. That's fine that you remember what they used to be, you used to be because they're going to think the way they want to think anyhow. But you got to remember, as far as the east is from the west and the south, the south is from the God have them forget about my sins. 
he didn't forget about, he didn't forgot about, there's no more remembrance of what I used to be. Behold, I'm a new creature, all things become new. My walk become new, my talk, my attitude become new. I learned the fact that who I am, not somebody telling me who I am just to use my body and my mind. Let us continue. But this man, mm -hmm. after he had offered one sacrifice, yes, sir, for sins forever, mm -hmm. sat down at the right hand of God. One sacrifice, take me to the king. Somebody take me to the king. Can you take me to the king without a whole bunch of hang up? Can you take me to the king without trying to get a trying to get a few dollars out of me? Can you take me to the king because you know I'm messed up instead of you talking about me? Can you take me to the king when things ain't going right? Can you take me to the king when I sit down and I tell you my deepest problems? When I tell you my inner thoughts? Can you take me to the king? I mean, I done tried everybody. I done tried everybody. You told me to go home and do this. It didn't work. You told me to get in a chant. It didn't work. You told me to put garlic around my front door. It didn't work. You told me to do this to my car. It didn't work. You told me to put salt in my shoes. It didn't work. You told me to go out there by the graveyard. It didn't work. You told me to go down to Lily House. Because Lily is a spiritual prayer. And then she's going to give me this dust. It didn't work. But his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. There's something about that name. I begin to call that name when I'm distressed. I begin to call that name when I don't have money. I begin to call that name when I need a psychologist. I begin to call that name when I need to get an answer. There's something about that name. There's something about that name. I don't have to pay for somebody to listen to me. He paid the price. He paid it on cap. He paid it in his body. He took on my headache. He took on my cancer. He took on my hurt. He took on somebody to take me. I done tried everybody. Softly. Take me. He sits on the right hand side of the Father. My Bible said that. We have an advocate. He's a lawyer. And every time the devil say, Mary ain't no good. Every time the devil say, Lily ain't no good. Every time the devil keep accusing us, Jesus don't say a word. Let me tell you what he does say. Look at my hands. Look at my feet. Look at my back. Look at my side. The cues have to shut up. The cues have to shut up. Because the price has already been paid. The price has been paid for living in. The price has been paid for overnight sin. The price has been paid for every lie. The price has been paid for every doubt. The price has been paid for every fear. I'm telling you, the enemy don't have no power over your mind. I'm not praying to God for a peace of mind. I got a full mind. I'm talking to somebody in here. <sighs> read it. Continue to read. From henceforth. Yes, sir. Expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. God said, God said, if you just serve, listen to what he said. I'm going to brag about you. Because your testimony is going to say, look where I brought me from. He going to put you on display because you're not afraid to tell somebody, look what he did for me. He going to put you out there. You're not afraid to tell. He brought me. Look where he brought me from. Save a wretch like me. And he said that your enemy going to be there anyhow because he said, I will make them become your footstool. And not only that, he said, I'll prepare a table before you. Good God Almighty. Why in the world you got blessed? He said, I'm going to prepare a table 
before your enemy so they can see that I am the Lord of kings. I am the Lord of lords and the king of kings. I am the one that you call on in your midnight hour. I'm the one that you told them the world and say goodbye world. I'm the one that came in you. I'm the one that pay your cardinal. I'm the one give you strength that lets you know in your midnight hour when you need to be rocked to sleep I just rock you to sleep. I am he. He said, I'm waiting to show you all. I'm waiting to show you all. All your haters going to be sitting there, and I thought you lost this. I thought you gave up on that. I thought they wrote you. He's Lord of Lord. King of kings. He's the lily of the valley. Save a wretch like me. You thought I was down. You thought I was out for the count. The word on the street that I wasn't going to survive. But look at me now. Woo, look at Jesus now. Take a mess. Reach way down. Dip it in his blood. Bring you out white as snow. Yeah, you remember. But I'm with the king of kings. Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know the joy. When you tape it up on the cross, you got to leave it there. You got to make a decision today. Do I want to live or am I going to continue to be battered? Every time you get a dime, you got to, you get a dime in this pocket, then you have enough pockets to hold other money because they, they all empty. You might well just sew them up. Because every time you put it in that pocket, it's gone. I know I had it. Oh, yeah, I had to pay that bill. It's a divine appointment that you are watching this program right now. Healing, power, deliverance, and prophetic impartation are yours right now. Are you ready to receive it right now? It's time to move your life to the next level right now. I'm going to receive the Holy Ghost. I'm going to receive my healing. I want you to understand that we serve an awesome God. Do I have a witness in this house? But let me tell you, if you build up your praise and whenever you get in trouble, you already, you can make a withdrawal from the presence and the power of God. Right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church, our mission is simple, to bring you into the transforming presence of God. Each and every week, lives are being changed, families are being restored, and destiny is being fulfilled. And we want to invite you to be a part of all that God is doing through His church. Join us for a visit to one of our worship services so you can experience an environment full of God's power. When you do, we want to sow a special gift into your life. On this program, you only saw a small portion of the message preached by Pastor Hickson. When you visit with us, we will give you this entire message on your choice of CD or DVD absolutely free as our way of saying thank you for visiting. When you arrive, simply let the person that greets you know that you are a first-time visitor and give them the name of the message you see on your screen. So make your plans to visit with us right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church. Our location, website, and service times are on the screen. You, your family, your future are important to God. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. I don't care what nobody say. I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. One paid the price. One. He's going to perfect me and you. When the, in the Bible, it talks about perfect. But in the Greek, it's talk about being mature. Somebody say, I'm ready to grow up. I just don't want to believe God for a light bill. I need some things changed in my life. I need my children to be touched. I need my grandchildren to be lifted up. I need some things, God, that I don't have any control. I don't even have money, but God, you said that you'll be a lawyer in the courtroom. I'm talking to somebody. Father, one may be sick, but you said, Father, by thy strife thou art healed and made whole. But see, what well, we got to understand that he, is a, he, he, he paid it all. Continue. Whereof 
The Holy Ghost also is a witness to the, us. The Holy Ghost is a witness. How many of you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? In here? Put your hands up. How many need to be filled? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. How many need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? How many of you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Tell him thank you. Listen to what I say. Tell him thank you. Thank you for filling me. Tell him 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 thank you for filling me. Go ahead and tell him thank you for filling me. I'm telling you, go ahead and say the anointing is moving here. Tell him thank you for filling me. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you for filling me. Tell him thank you for filling me. Tell him thank you for filling me. Come on, church. Tell him thank you for filling me. You done raise your hand, show some action. Tell him thank you for filling me. You done raise your hand, show him some action. Go, I'm like, I, I, I can't be your call. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him, thank you. Tell him fill me. Fill me with your joy. Fill me with your peace. Fill me with your Holy Ghost. I need to be filled. If you need to be filled, get on your feet. The ones that need. Feel. Receive it. Receive it. Here it is. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take me to the king. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Mother. Come here. Hang on to me. Years. But he said, I'm going to bring you through. He said, I'm going to heal your body. The blood circulation in your legs. He said, I'm going to do it right now. He said, I'm going to do it right now. He said, I'm going to do it right now. The blood circulation in your legs. He said, I'm going to do it. You've been struggling for the last three years in your health. But God said, I'm going to heal you now. God said, I'm going to deliver you now. God said, I'm going to make a way out of no way. Whenever you bring it to the cross, whenever you bring it to the foot of the cross, you got to leave it there. By thy strike, thou heal. By thy strike, thou may hold. By thy strike, you are delivered under the anointing and the power of God. I know God is, let me tell you, we stand before the cross. He paid the price for you. What you wanted God to do? What did you want God to do? You wanted your eyes to be healed. You want to be able to see again. And that's what you wrote on your note. I want you to place it on that cross. Your eyes. See. Cataracts got to go. See. Clearly, under the anointing and the power of God. See. See. She wrote, she wanted her eyes to be. Mother, I want to tell you, heal by stripes. You're delivered by his stripes. You're being made whole right now. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Continue to read. For after that, he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Yes. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Isn't that wonderful? He ain't going to remember it no more. You know how many people remember what you are? How many people remember what you are? How many people always want to put you down for what you're doing? But let me tell you, he don't remember it. He said, I, he said I'm going to put it in your heart. I don't remember it. When you walk away, when you repent, he don't remember. 
He have no more memories of what you did. People got you walking around here. I, I, I'm so wretched. I, I'm not worthy. You better tell the devil I am worthy what God going to give me. Hallelujah. I am worthy. I am worthy. I'm worthy. How many of you really want to get out of the condition that you're in right now? You really want to walk out of the condition that you're in right now? Come. It's only going to take a few minutes. Let's right, just make sure the floor remains. What you put on the cross, we're going to go ahead and the last one, going to put it there. Come on, take, take, take. You can even attach to the other one. You can even attach to the other one that's there. If your stick is attached to another piece of paper there, you can stand there. You can stand right on there. Doesn't matter how high or low, as long as it's at the cross. You're gonna leave, you're gonna leave it there to the cross. We'll do it quickly. It's time to move on the thing that you want God to do. It's time to believe God. It's time to trust God. Come on. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. You thought I was worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Sickness. Put it there. Free from sin, put it there. Trusting God. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free, so I can be whole, so I can tell everyone I love. You thought I was worth saving. Yes, you did. So you came, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was To request a copy of today's broadcast, call us at 1-855-NOW-FAITH. That's 1-855-669-3248. Or visit our website at changingyourdirection.org. Write to us at 101 South Redland Road, Florida City, Florida, 33034. Full Deliverance Ministries, where little becomes much when you place it in the Master's hand, is changing your direction the victorious way. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. We're out of time, but I want you to join us on social media and other media outlets. We're there for you. We're praying for you. I want to just encourage you to encourage someone else. Make this message a part of your library. God bless you. Thank you for your support and your prayers as we continue to reach a nation for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you next week at this time changing your direction.